in these problems, we're being asked to take the square root of what's called a rational perfect square. And all that this word rational means is it's expressed as a fraction. So we have square roots of fractions. And lucky for us, um, these are pretty easy. We have 16 over 9, and both of those should pop right out to you as um, perfect squares, something you can take the square root of easily. And the basic idea here is that if you have some fraction like x over y and a square root sign on the outside of it, that's the same thing as taking the square root of the top and putting it over the square root of the bottom. So if we do that, we would take the square root of 16, that would equal 4. And then we'd take the square root of 9, and that it would equal 3. And we'd have 4 thirds as our answer. And that's really all there is to it. Um, it says be sure to write your answer in simplest form. 4 thirds is already there, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's look at this second one. This looks a little tougher. We have the square root of uh, 50 over 32. So you might be tempted to take the square root of 50 and then the square root of 32, and you'd get these big long decimals, and uh, it'd be kind of messy. Luckily for us, there's a simpler way to go about this. We can try simplifying first uh, inside the radical sign. And what you should be looking for is those perfect squares. So 50 is not a perfect square, neither is 32. But you could take a 2 out of both of these, and that would become the square root of, well, 50 divided by 2 is 25, and 32 divided by 2 is 16. That looks a lot more friendly. So make sure you uh, check whether there's some easy simplification to do before you try to take the square root. And now let's take the square root of the top. The square root of 25 is 5. And the square root of the bottom, the square root of 16, is 4. And we have 5 fourths as our answer. So that's a little bit of work with taking the square root of a rational perfect square.